Oh, well, welcome back uh, my gardening friends. Well, just a little update on the uh, Parfat Works um, Par 1020 Pro LED uh, grow light board and the peas, the beans and the marker greens that were in here have uh, all gone now eaten or up at the allotment. This is the uh, third lot of micro greens and they're doing really well uh, under the lights. Now our days are getting shorter with light. Uh, these are the Lady Crystal potatoes. You can see all the little baby potatoes are forming and I planted some earlier about two weeks ago and they're really struggling to get going. So I've popped them into some soil. We've given them a little bit of light uh, let's uh, see if they'll uh, green up a little bit uh, under these lights and then get them planted uh, in the uh, the buckets uh, hopefully to help me out with some Christmas potatoes. There's a, a sowing uh, of a lettuce we did quite a while ago. We've been taking a few pickings off it. It's just been drawn a little bit now, which you would expect under the lights. And this is another sowing uh, that needs to go uh, up to the allotment to replace some of the lettuce that we've already got up there that uh, we had uh, under the uh, grow lights. Quite happy with them. Uh, according to my smart meter, we're on about just under 12 pence a day, so roughly a penny an hour, one UK pence, and uh, for my little hobby and uh, a little bit of lettuce. I think it's uh, well worth uh, the effort in creating uh, a grow room to bring things on. And we're sort of mid-September, so end of September into November I should be start I shall start sowing some of my giant vegetables and uh, get them under the lights. I found the little temperature and hydrometer the humidity uh, very useful I've just bought that from out of the greenhouse grow room and it's uh, just above um, 10 probably 11 or 12 and 60% uh, uh, humidity in there so just leave that for a little while to see how the lights do i'll just shut the front down and we'll have a little look in a minute to see uh, how uh, how much heat these lights give off it just save uh, putting the uh, the heater on it's not awfully cold at the moment but we need to keep our plants at a constant temperature while that's happening uh, these are some of the apples that i've been picking up that people put out in front of the houses for as windfalls uh, they're not very big but later on people will be throwing away <coughs> the bigger ones and what I do as soon as they start going a little bit uh, rotten I select those first and then some of these will last uh, quite a long time and there's one of the potatoes off um, that chit is that worth planting oh it's got me thinking again so that's one off one of the lady crystals but uh, let's have a little look in the <coughs> indoor fridge. We've got the <coughs> uh, got the condor that we revealed the other day. Um, no no blight on them. There were just a few that had got too wet here in the UK. We've been having such uh, awful weather. There's some of the smaller ones, and there's the bigger ones. Uh, we've got a few of the lady <coughs> crystal left some Morris Bard and then there's the uh, Sarpo mirror at the top again they're all showing signs that they want to grow I'm trying to hold them back so that uh, I can keep successionally sowing the potatoes so I've got crops right through to when I'll be revealing my uh, potatoes uh, in the spring from uh, maybe like the condors or the rockets as usual i just can't help myself 
um, that looks like some of the the roots or chits but well we will see we'll just plant them but even those chits are growing potatoes on them so we started off with a seed potato then it produces that little potato to produce chits and there's potatoes on those nature will always find a way I'll keep you updated on that one. So I think the uh, temperature's gone up just a little bit, but we've only been a few minutes away. So there we have the Lady Crystal seed to a seed. So basically I've broken off one of the chits where uh, it was attached to the bottom of the seed potato. So we'll see how that gets on. So please check out in the description below the PAR 1200 Pro LED grow lights. Um, my plants are loving them. Took a few cuttings from um, a flower basket that our son gave to his mum, Mrs K, and I've saved a few plants out of it now that it's uh, gone over. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time my friends. Try for now.